Free indirect discourse is the most academic way of talking about narration that almost merges with the character's mind. Some people call it deep POV, but that's a little more general a term. You might say that a whole book is told in deep POV, but free indirect style is actually a specific line level technique. First, some clarifications. Free indirect style is also known as free indirect discourse or free indirect speech. That one, speech, is probably the most confounding since this is not speech in any sense, really. But I don't make the rules about what phrases are allowed in the free indirect house. So, what is free indirect style? Well, let's begin by talking about characters speaking. If a character says something, you can render that directly or indirectly. Direct speech would look like this. Get lost, she said. We put that in quotes and we give it a dialogue tag. Indirect speech would look like this. She told him to get lost. No quotes, and it's a summarized version of the speech. Okay? That establishes the first concept of direct versus indirect. Now let's say we're dealing with thoughts rather than speech. We can give the equivalent directly quoted thoughts. What am I going to do now, he thought. I can't just leave her here. Some writers might put those thoughts in italics or quotes or leave them unformatted, but regardless, there's a thought tag, he thought, or he wondered, something like that, just like with direct speech where there's a dialogue tag. But you could convey this thought indirectly. What was he going to do now? He couldn't just leave her here. See that? No thought tag. The pronouns change from first person to third person. The verb tense goes to past tense rather than present. That, my friends, is free indirect style. It's the indirect style for thoughts. Another way of putting it is that we remain in the narrator's frame, but we merge with the character's mind. Everything was ruined. He'd never make it on time. He was doomed to be a failure. See that? The narrator isn't being that dramatic. The character is. But we're sticking with the narrator's frame. And so it remains in third person, past tense, because in this case, the narration is in third person, past tense. So, take a character's thoughts, imagine they're in quotes, they're probably not, that's not really the norm these days, and then make the thoughts indirect by changing the person and tense and take away the thought tag. And that's how you arrive at free indirect style. That's it. Free indirect style is narration that conveys character thought while remaining in the narrator's tense and person. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.